Welcome to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 2 32 from RCB Baller Engineering Static Squad Edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the magnitude of the resultant force acting on the pin and its direction measured clockwise from the positive x axis. So, to solve this problem, first of all, we will resolve all the forces into their components and then we will apply the Equations of the equilibrium. For the force F1, I have one horizontal component and one vertical component. This angle right here is also 45 degrees because these two angles are alternate to each other. This is F1. Cos 45 degrees, and this component is F1 sin 45 degrees. Now, for the force F2, I have one vertical component acting downwards and one horizontal component. This component right here is F2 cos 15 degrees and this one is F2 sin 15 degrees. Now for the force F3 I have one horizontal component and one vertical component. This is F3 sin 15 degrees and that is F3 cos 15 degrees. Now we have resolved all the forces into their components. Now I can write F1 in terms of Cartesian vector as F1 cos 45 degrees I plus F1 sin 45 degrees j and for the force f2 i have f2 cos 15 degrees i minus f2 sin 15 degrees j it is minus because it is directed in the negative by in the direction of negative y axis that's why it is negative. Now for the force F3 I have F3 sin 15 degrees I minus F3 sin Cos 15 degrees J. Now we can apply the equations of the equilibrium. So I have the resultant, the horizontal component of the resultant force FRx is equal to sum of the horizontal component of individual forces. So FRx is equals to F1 cos 45 degrees plus F2 cos 15 degrees plus F3 sin 15 degrees. Now F1 is equals to 30 LPs. F2 is equals to 40 LPs. And F3 is equals to 25 LBs. We have FRx is equals to 30 cos 45 degrees plus 40 cos 15 degrees plus 25 sin 15 degrees. So FRx comes out to be 66.32 LBs.
now we have to use the same approach for the vertical component of the resulting force so i have some of the forces so i have fr y is equals to some of the vertical components of individual forces so we have f R y is equals to F1 sine 45 degrees minus F2 sine 15 degrees minus F minus F3 cos 15 degrees. Again we have the same values for F1, F2 and F3. So F R y becomes 30 sine 45 minus 40 sine 15 minus 25 sine 15 degrees so f or y becomes negative 13.29 lbs Now for the magnitude of the resulting force, we can use the Pythagoras theorem approach. So we have fr is equals to square root of fr x square plus fr y square. So fr is equals to 66.32 square plus negative 13.29 square so fr becomes 67.63 lbs so this is our first answer now we have to find the angle measured clockwise from the positive x axis made by the force fr if i draw two perpendicular axes right here then for fr force i have one horizontal component let's see this is x axis this is positive y axis this is negative x axis this is negative y axis so i have one horizontal component representing frx and i have one vertical component acting downwards And this is FRY and it is downwards because for FRY we have a negative arm and the resultant is drawn from the tail of first vector to the head of last vector. This is FR and we have to find this angle. Let's call this alpha. So if I apply tan alpha is equals to fry upon frx. So we have tan alpha is equals to 13.29 divided by 66.32. So alpha is equals to 11.33 degrees. Now this is our second answer. Now this is the answer to this problem. 
I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.